So let me introduce you to our topic for today which is surface areas and volumes. Okay, before we move on to studying how we can calculate these quantities for a given solid object, we shall revise the definitions and important formulae for the basic solid shapes. So let's do that. We know that the area is the space occupied by the object on a plane surface. At the same time, volume is the space contained inside the solid object. Also, we know the formula to calculate the areas and volumes of cubes and cuboids. For a cube, we have the curved surface area or the lateral surface area as 4 times the square of the side. Next, the total surface area of the cube is given as 6 times the square of its side. And finally, the volume of a cube is equal to the cube of its side. So, if we have a cube with its side as A, then its CSA will be 4A square, its TSA will be 6A square and its volume will be A cube. Next, we'll look at a cuboid whose length is L, breadth is B and height is H. So, its curved surface area is equal to 2H into the bracket L plus B. Then the total surface area is equal to 2 into the bracket L, B plus BH plus HL. And finally, its volume is equal to L into B into H. Now that we have revised how to calculate the surface area of cubes and cuboids, why don't you help me in painting my room? So, my room is 1.5 meters long and 1.25 meters wide and its height is... 3 meters. I know that the amount of paint required to paint 1 square meter will cost me 100 rupees. Can you help me find the total cost of the paint that I will be needing to paint all the 4 walls of my room and the ceiling? Since we know the length, breadth and height of my room, we can conclude that it is the shape of a cuboid, right? So, we will find the curved surface area, that is the area of the four walls and then calculate the area of the ceiling. We have the length as 1.5 meters, so L is equal to 1.5 meters, breadth B is equal to 1.25 meters and height H of the room is 3 meters. Here the curved surface area is the area of the four walls, so that can be calculated as 2H into the bracket. L plus B. On substituting the values, we get the CSA as 2 into 3 into the bracket 1.5 plus 1.25. On simplifying, we get 2 into 3 as 6 into the bracket 1.5 plus 1.25, that is 2.75. Now, 6 into 2.75 is equal to 16.5 square meters. And so, area of the four walls is equal to 16.5 square meters. Next, area of the ceiling is given by length into breadth, which would be equal to 1.5 into 1.25. And that comes out to be 1.875 square meters. So, we can calculate the total area to be painted as the sum of the area of the four walls and the area of the ceiling which is 16.5 plus 1.875 and that is equal to 18.375 square meters. Now I know the total area that I have to paint and I know that the cost of paint needed to paint 1 square meter is equal to 100 rupees. So to find the total cost of the paint that I will be needing to paint the room, I will simply multiply the total area I have to paint into the rate of paint required for 1 square meter. That gives me the total cost of paint as 18.375 into 100 that is 1837.5 rupees. Therefore, the total cost of the paint I need for my room is equal to 1830. 37.5 rupees. Have you ever seen the jewelry box that you get jewelry in? If you have seen your mom buy rings or earrings from the jeweler, you might have seen that they come in these little velvet boxes. 
So let's see how a jeweler makes these boxes. Here we have a jeweler who needs cardboard boxes covered with velvet. The box is of size 10 centimeters into 15 centimeters into 10 centimeters, which is open at the top. It also has a lid of the size 10 centimeters into 15 centimeters into 2 centimeters. Both the box as well as the lid has to be covered with velvet. Now assuming 1 cm folding at the open ends of the box and the lid, we have to find the total velvet cloth required for 250 such boxes. First, we will find the area of the velvet cloth required for the box. A very important thing to note here is that 1 cm extra velvet is taken for folding it at the open ends. Since the box is open at the top, so the four lateral sides and the base have to be covered with velvet. So the base is basically a rectangle with its sides as the length breadth of the box. So the velvet cloth needed to cover this box is equal to the curved surface area containing the four faces plus the area of the rectangular base. Now we have been given that the height of the box is 10 centimeters but the height of the velvet will be 1 cm extra for folding in and so we will consider the height as 10 plus 1 that is 11 cm. Therefore the total velvet we need is equal to the curved surface area of the box plus the area of the base. Let's write down the data given to us. For the velvet cloth to cover the box we have the length L1 that's equal to 10 cm. The breadth B1 that's equal to 15 centimeters and the height H1 is equal to 11 centimeters. The curved surface area of the cuboid is 2H1 into the bracket L1 plus B1. Substituting these values we get the CSA as 2 into 11 into the bracket 10 plus 15. That is 22 into 25 which comes out to be 550 square centimeters. Next, the area of the base is equal to L1 into B1, which is 10 into 15, that is 150 square centimeters. Adding these two areas, we get the total area of the velvet needed for a box as 550 plus 150, which is 700 square centimeters. Next, we'll move on to the lid. Again, the lid is also a cuboid with an open bottom. So the length and breadth of the lid and that for the velvet will be the same. But the height for the velvet will be 1 cm more for the folding. And we write length L2 as 10 cm, breadth B2 as 15 cm and height H2 as 3 cm. Now the total area of the velvet cloth is equal to the curved surface area plus the area of the top. The CSA of the lid will be 2H2 into the bracket L2 plus B2. On substituting, we get that as 2 into 3, which is 6, into the bracket 10 plus 15, that is 25. 6 into 25, that's equal to 150. So the CSA is 150 square centimeters. Next, area of the top is L2 into B2, that is 10 into 15 equal to 150 square centimeters. Adding both these areas, we get the total area of velvet cloth for the lid as 150 plus 150, that is 300 square centimeters. So the total velvet needed for one box will be the area of velvet needed for the open box plus area of the cloth needed for the lid. That is equal to 700 plus 300 and that is equal to 1000 square centimeters. Now let's do a very simple conversion between square centimeters and square meters. We know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. If we square both the sides, we get 1 square meter is equal to 100 into 100 square centimeters. That gives us 1 square meter is equal to 10,000 square centimeters or 10 raised to 4 square centimeters. So if we converted the total area of velvet cloth required for one box from square centimeters to square meters, we will have to divide it by 10 raised to 4. 
Therefore, we get the total area of velvet required for one box as 1000 divided by 10 raised to 4 square meters. That is equal to 0.1 square meters. Now, the jeweler needs 250 such boxes. So, the total velvet cloth will be 250 into the area of velvet required for one box. That is 250 into 0.1, which is equal to 25 square meters. And that is our answer. Tutomate. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.